Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tech Talk Central for another deep dive. I'm Nathan. And I'm Sarah. And today we're looking at two super slim laptops that a lot of you have been asking about, the Asus ZenBook S13. And the Apple MacBook Air M3. Right, because on paper they look really similar. Yeah, they're both going for that ultra portable, super sleek. But there are definitely some key differences yeah. that you need to know about before you decide which one is right for you. Exactly. So like we always do, we're going to break down each category, okay. starting with the design. Now, Asus is making a pretty bold claim with the ZenBook S13, calling it the world's thinnest OLED ultra portable. And it is really thin, just 0.46 inches. Wow. And it weighs almost nothing, like 2.2 pounds. You'll barely notice it in your bag. Which is pretty important when you're talking about portability, right? Yeah, totally. But the MacBook Air M3 is no slouch in the portability department either. That's true. It's also under half an inch thick. Huh. So they're both incredibly portable. But I'm curious, for you, when it comes to portability, what matters more? Is it that thinness or is it more about the overall weight? That's a good question. I think for me, it depends what I'm doing. Like if I'm traveling, right. I care more about the weight. Makes sense. But if I'm just carrying it around, you know, from meeting to meeting, sure. then the thinness is probably more important. Okay. Well, let's move on to something else that's pretty important, uh, the displays. The ZenBook S13 has what Asus calls Illumina OLED display with a 3K resolution and 400 nits of brightness. Yeah, and because it's OLED, you get those super deep blacks and vibrant colors that really make everything pop. I was reading that it's got a 60 hertz refresh rate, 100% DCI-P3 color accuracy, yeah. and it's even been Pantone validated. It's a really impressive display. Now, the MacBook Air M3 has a 13.6 inch liquid retina display, okay. which Apple says can display a billion colors. Now, yeah. this is where it gets a little tricky because OLED and Liquid Retina are different display technologies and they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. OLED is known for those incredible blacks and contrast, yeah. while Liquid Retina, which is a type of LCD, tends to be brighter and have a wider color gamut. So it really comes down to what you're looking for in a display. Yeah, like if you're a photographer or a video editor, you might prefer the OLED for its color accuracy. But if you're someone who's going to be using their laptop outside a lot, mm -hmm. you might want that extra brightness that you get with the liquid retina display. Exactly. All right, well, let's move on to the brains of these machines. The ZenBook S13 is packing the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, the 155U, Okay. which can get up to 4.8 gigahertz. Wow. It's also got 12 cores, 14 threads, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigi SSD. Yeah, and on the other side, the MacBook Air M3 has Apple's M3 chip, which they say is the most powerful chip they've ever put in a MacBook Air. It comes with an 8-core CPU, and you can choose between an 8- or 10-core GPU. And it's got that unified memory architecture right? with 16 or 24 gigabytes of memory, and you can get anywhere from 256 gigabytes of storage all the way up to 2 terabytes. Now, I think it's worth taking a minute to talk about the differences between Intel and Apple Silicon because they both have their pros and cons. Apple Silicon is designed specifically for Apple products. Yeah. So it's incredibly efficient and offers amazing battery life. Mm -hmm. But Intel processors are more versatile. You know, they work with a wider range of software and hardware. So if you're someone who needs to use a lot of different programs, yeah. the ZenBook with its Intel processor might be the better choice. But if you're mostly using Apple apps, that M3 chip in the MacBook Air is going to be blazing fast. Definitely. And speaking of speed, let's talk about battery life. Asus says you can get all-day use out of the ZenBook S13, which they claim is over 13 hours. And it's got fast charging, too, so you can top it up quickly if you need to. But the MacBook Air M3 takes battery life to a whole new level. Oh, yeah. Apple says you can get up to 18 hours on a single charge. 18 hours. That's incredible. It's pretty amazing. That's like you can work a whole day and then watch a movie on the flight home without having to plug it in. It's definitely a game changer for people who are always on the go. So battery life is definitely a point in favor of the MacBook Air M3. Yeah, I say so. But the ZenBook S13 has some other pretty cool features too. Like it has a Windows Copilot AI key. What is that? So it's basically a dedicated key for accessing Microsoft's AI Assistant. Oh. And it's designed to help you with all sorts of tasks, from writing emails to scheduling meetings to finding information online. The ZenBook S13 also has military-grade durability. Wow. So it can withstand drops, 
bumps and extreme temperatures. That's impressive. And it has Harman Kardon speakers with Dolby Atmos. Now, the MacBook Air M3 also has some great features. Like Touch ID for secure login. And the backlit Magic Keyboard. Which is really comfortable to type on. It's also got a force touch trackpad and a 1080p FaceTime HD camera. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has a three mic array and four speakers with spatial audio. Yeah, so both laptops have a lot to offer in terms of features. It really comes down to what's important to you. Absolutely. Like, do you need that AI assistance? Or is military-grade durability more important? Or maybe you're a big fan of Apple's ecosystem and you want the seamless integration that the MacBook Air offers. These are all things to consider when you're making your decision. All right, now let's talk about something that's becoming more and more important these days, sustainability. The ZenBook S13 gets some points here because it's made with recycled materials, including PIR, PCR, and even ocean-bound plastics. It's also got a plasma ceramic aluminum finish, which is more durable and scratch-resistant than traditional aluminum. And it's EPEAT Gold, certified with Climate Plus PLOS which means it meets high standards for environmental performance. That's great to hear. The MacBook Air M3 is also EP Gold certified, so Apple is also taking sustainability seriously. So that's good to see. All right, so we talked a lot about the Isessa ZenBook S13 and the Apple MacBook Air M3. We have. We've really gone in deep on these two. And I think it's time to kind of step back okay. and look at the big picture. You know, what are the key strengths of each laptop? Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Because they both have a lot going for them. They do. So starting with the ZenBook S13, I think the first thing that jumps out is just how incredibly thin and light it is. Yeah, it's really pushing the boundaries of portability. And that OLED display is gorgeous. Like, if you're someone who really cares about image quality, right. whether you're watching movies or editing photos, that OLED screen is going to blow you away. And I like that Asus is making an effort to be more sustainable. Yeah, for sure. Using recycled materials and getting that EPEAT Gold certification, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now, what about the MacBook Air M3? What are its biggest strengths? Well, for me, it's the performance and the battery life. Yeah. That M3 chip is a real powerhouse, and the battery life is just phenomenal. I'm still amazed by that 18-hour claim. I know. It's hard to believe, right? And if you're already using other Apple products, that seamless integration with the Apple ecosystem is a huge plus. Absolutely. You can easily share files between your iPhone, your iPad, and your MacBook Air. It all just works together seamlessly. So we've got the ZenBook S13, which is incredibly portable, has a stunning OLED display, and is made with recycled materials. And then we've got the MacBook Air M3, which offers blazing fast performance, incredible battery life, and seamless integration with the Apple ecosystem. So how do you choose? That's the question, isn't it? I think it comes down to what you're going to be using the laptop for and what your priorities are. Exactly. Like, if portability is your top priority. Right. The ZenBook S13 is hard to beat, but if you need a laptop that can handle demanding tasks and last all day on a single charge, then the MacBook Air M3 might be the better choice. And of course, your budget is always a consideration. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I think no matter which laptop you choose, you're getting a really great machine. I agree. These are both top-of-the-line laptops that are going to serve you well for years to come. So to wrap things up, I think we've given you a lot to think about. We have. We've covered the design, the displays, the performance, the battery life, the features, the sustainability, and the price. We've looked at the pros and cons of each laptop. And hopefully we've given you the information you need to make an informed decision. Now it's up to you to decide which laptop is right for you. And if you're still on the fence, I always recommend checking out some in-depth reviews and videos. Seeing these laptops in action and hearing what other users have to say can be really helpful. And don't forget to think about the software you use most often, the accessories you need to connect, and of course your budget. All those things factor into the decision. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is to choose a laptop that you're going to love using. Absolutely. One that's going to make your life easier and help you achieve your goals. So that's it for our deep dive into the Asus ZenBook S13 and the Apple MacBook Air M3. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tech deep dives. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for the latest prices and deals on these laptops. Thanks for watching.